Hey guys, welcome back to Easy Science with Teacher Jenny. Today, hey guys, welcome back to Easy Science with Teacher Jenny. Ngayon ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa potential at kinetic energy. Ang potential energy ay energy at rest due to its position. Ang kinetic energy ay energy in motion. Okay? Tatandaan, pag potential, P, iniisip ko pag potential ay cos. Cos is tigil. Okay? So, potential, P, cos, tigil. Pag naman kinetic, kinetic um, energy, energy in motion, um, K, kinetic K, kilos. Okay? Kilos or galaw, motion. So, yun lang pala tandaan ko doon. Potential, cos, tigil, kinetic, kilos, motion. Okay? So, potential energy, pag isang bagay ay hindi gumagalaw, yun ay merong potential energy. Ang isang bagay na gumagalaw, yun ay may kinetic energy. Nakuha ba? Ang formula ng potential energy ay PE is equal to MGH. So, that is mass times gravity times height. Katandaan na ang unit ng mass ay kilogram kg. Ang unit na acceleration due to gravity ay 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay, so that is constant. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya nababago. And at dun sa height, ito ay meters. Okay, so mgh mass gravity height kilogram 9.8 meter per second squared meters. Okay, so pag naman kinetic energy, ang formula natin dyan ay 1 half mv squared. Okay? Again, 1 half mv squared. 1 half is constant. Ibig sabihin, lag nandun, binababago. m is for mass, kilogram, and v is velocity. So, that's meter per second. Pero yung velocity natin dyan ay uh, velocity squared. Okay? Ang unit natin ay meter per second. Huwag malilito kasi pag acceleration, it's mass meter per second squared. Pag velocity, meter per second. Okay? Maintindihan ba? So, so Ke is equal to mass times mass times velocity squared. Okay? So, ngayon, itry natin solve ang problem na ito. Using the Gressa method, and given natin ay 20 meters at 79 kilogram. So, ang ating required ay potential energy. Ang ating equation ay PE is equal, is equal to MGH. Ang ating solution, so 20 times 9.8 times 79. At ang ating answer ay and then, ang unit ng energy ay joule. Okay? Energy at kinetic energy gagamit yan ng joules. Okay? Naintindihan ba? Okay, next problem tayo. kilograms at saka 4 meter per second. And then, ang ating required is kinetic energy. Ang ating equation is um, kinetic energy is equal to 1 half times mv squared. Okay? So, um, 1 half times 80 times 16. Kasi, 4 squared i 16. So, so um, sagot natin dyan ay 640 joules. Okay? So, paano ko nakuha yon? 
Ang ginagawa ko, tinatimes ko yung diba 1 half times um, mv squared. So, tinatimes ko muna yung mv squared. So, 80 times 16. Ito siya sa 2. Okay? Sa 2. Ang lalabas yan ay 640. Ngayon, pwede naman ganito ang gamitin nyo kasi um, when 1 half is 0.5 siya. Okay? So, pwede mong gawin 0.5 times 80 times 16. Okay? So, try nyo kung ano lalabas. Okay, try nyo. Point, ang lalabas dyan ay 640 pa rin. So, kung, so depende sa'yo kung saan ka mas nadadalian. Kung i-divide mo siya ng 2 or ita-times mo siya sa 0.5. Okay? Maliwanag ba? So now, so ngayon, gawin nyo tong problem na to at i-comment nyo ang inyong sagot. Well, I hope may natutunan kayo sa video lesson na to. Huwag kalimutan i-like at i-follow ang aking Facebook page at i-subscribe ang aking YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching.